today's Advent reading is about a young woman named Esther who was not given a lot of choice uh, in this story up to this point. She is chosen because of her beauty to be part of the king's harem and then um, amazingly is chosen as his new queen but she is on uh, eggshells sort of in her position there because she is a replacement queen. The queen before displeased the king because she uh, didn't want to be paraded around and so Esther has to kind of toe the line, she has to be someone who the king will um, keep in his good graces and uh, in this passage we see Esther making a really bold choice. She is a Jewish young woman, she has kept that a secret from the king because she was recommended to do so by her cousin. She is um, hiding a bit of her identity but then her people are going to be annihilated and she makes a bold choice to be the person who is going to stand up for them, um, not only for herself but for uh, the whole of the Jewish people in this area. And uh, she puts her life on the line to do this. She knows that possibly she won't come out of this alive, even if her people did, uh, but she also risks losing her people and her life um, by if she had not if she had not made this bold choice um, and this is where we hear the the line um, that she was chosen or we we paraphrase it to we are chosen for such a time as this this is where this uh, phrase comes from from this story of Esther she's a really bold young woman um, she makes a really bold choice and we have seen a few other women who, uh, in spite of their circumstances, really take control of the situations that they're in. They use the resources that they have at hand and that is what she does here. And uh, she makes a huge change uh, and transformation for the Jewish people in this time, in this, um, in this time in history, in this place. And uh, there is now Purim that is celebrated because of this story, because of this situation. And uh, this woman is also uh, really reflective of the story of Jesus. And that, I think, is why it's included in our Advent reading plan. We see someone who is brought into this situation and who has compassion and love and hope for God's people, who is willing to, to stay true to herself and to uh, stay true to the people she is a part of and to be one of God's people and stand up. And she saves her people. Um, if you're not drawing the parallels already, uh, we see Jesus who is born this Advent season and he grows up and he saves, he saves his people, he saves this world from sin and from death. And we can choose to be a part of that, we can choose to, to take um, what he is offering us, this life, this hope and this compassion that he has brought to our world. So Esther is such a, a great story to, to read, to reflect on and to see Jesus in and um, to see just a small glimmer of the hope that is to come as we get to know Jesus, as we meet Jesus this season again. So as you pray today, um, I think it would be great to pray for a real boldness. Um, if you have a situation or uh, something going on around you where you, you need to make a tough decision, uh, or you need to be bold and true to who you are. I think talk to God about that and and be remember that you can be bold as one of his children, that God gives us the boldness. But also, um, I feel like Esther really does show a real love and compassion for God's people. Um, and so I guess uh, my question is, are there people around you who need 
your love, need your compassion. Are there people who need you to step up for them, to protect them, to reach out to them today? Maybe you need to use that boldness and, and be active today and reach out to someone in your workplace, in your neighbourhood, in your family who, who needs help or needs um, just support, needs someone there for them. So I just pray that God will, will speak to us today through this and will um, really highlight those people, those situations around us where we need to, to be bold and have compassion like Esther.